Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about a very interesting topic that what if the value of g becomes equals to 10. Now you may have done a lot of questions regarding this that usually we can take the value of g is equals to 10 to make our calculation easy. But in reality we do, we know that this is not the original value. What I'm trying to say is that in reality we know that the value of g is equal to 9.8. This is the actual and real value for g, the acceleration due to gravity on earth. But sometimes we take the value of g is equal to 10 just for an approximation. We know that if we will take g is equal to 10, then our calculations will be very easy. But what will be the real life aspects, real, real life effects if I actually change the value of g from 9.8 to 10. If you want to understand it, you can understand it by this particular method that the value of G varies for, from planet to planet. That for the for Earth, the value is 9.8. But as we are talking about different planets, if I'm talking about Neptune, Uran Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Mercury, all the different planets have different value of G. And you know, if the value of G is different, there will be different things. So over here as well, if I will change the value of 9.8 to 10 in real life as well, what will be the aspect? What will be the effects of these things? The first and the foremost thing is the weight of a body. Now let's first understand that what is the weight of your body? Simply weight of a body is something like, like I am living on the earth. Hmm? So if I'm standing on the earth, I am applying some sort of force on the earth. That is what we call as the weight of the body, which you already know. Hmm? Now, we all know that the value of weight is equal to mass times gravity, acceleration due to gravity. We all know that now if this particular value of G will change, clearly the value of weight will also change. That is why we say that the our weight is actually different on different planets. And uh, it's also said that my weight will be what one sixth on the surface of moon. That is the whole reason because the value of small g, the acceleration due to gravity is changing from planet to planet from one place to another. It's changing. And if you want to see the example, this is there in front of you. Let's say a person uh, has a weight of 75 kg over here. If you will like try to uh, measure it on different planets, you will see that on different planets, the value of that will actually be different. Okay. What is the whole reason behind it? The whole reason is actually the change in value of g. When the value g changes, this also changes. That is the whole reason. So let's try to understand this in real life. Let's say this is a person and let's say this is Dipesh. Okay. And now his weight is actually equal to weight. I will not say weight mass. His mass is 60 kgs. So how much weight he is actually uh, having, or I can say how much force he is applying on earth. If I want to calculate that we can, uh, we will try to check it. So uh, the first consequence or the first effect of changing in G is actually you will gain weight. So let's see if I am uh, like if this person is Dipesh with a mass of 60 kg, will he gain weight if the value of G changes from what 9.8 to 10? So let's see. Now, if the let, let's say the person's mass is equal to 60 kgs. So if I will consider that the value of G is 9.8 just by using the formula M into G, you will calculate that the weight of this person is 588 Newton. Basically this much of force he is applying on the surface of earth. But if I will change the value of G from 9.8 to 10, now the value of G is 10. So clearly the weight of the body will be equal to 600 Newtons. And now you can also calculate the difference in both of them. The difference is actually equals to what? It's very simple, 600 minus 588 and that is clearly equals to uh, 12 newtons somewhere like that. So now you will also think that, oh, uh, it's very easy and it's like very simple. Uh, but the difference when I'm uh, changing the value of G from 9.8 to 10, it's a very, very small difference. That's not even a big thing. So yes, if the value of nine, uh, G will change from 9.8 to 10, that will not affect the, uh, that will not affect anything on the earth that much. So now you can clearly see that I am gaining weight. Okay. So for a person like me, I gained weight. <laughs> if my, uh, right now I'm exerting this much of force, but if the value of G will change, I will slightly increase, uh, the force will slightly increase, not a big deal. And you will also think it's a small deal right now. But if I will talk about a very massive body, hmm? a very huge body, very massive body, let's take the example of Mount Everest. 
so the mass of mount everest is considered to be 810 into 10 to the power 12 kg it's fino like it's a very very high it's very high hmm? so if you will consider the mass of mount everest it's very high and now if you will calculate the weight of the mount everest for g is equals to 9.8 the weight will come out to be 7 9 3 8 to the power 12 newtons but if i will change the value of g from 9.8 to 10 the weight of the body will con convert to this now you will again think this is a small difference no when you will do the difference the difference will come out to be like this it's very huge it's a very 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 big number a very big number and if i if you if i want to give you a statistics of what how big this number is this number is as big as that a person like me multiplied by this big of a number will have to like uh, add up together to make up a weight of this thing okay so this much of the page like so many the pages are will be required to actually uh, make up the weight like make up the difference in weight of that particular thing where the value of g is changing from 9.8 to 10 so you can clearly see just by changing the value of g by 0.2 change is massive it's a very big change can cause so many things and the same thing will actually happen when we are talking about what some very precious uh, things like if i'm talking about gold if i'm talking about diamond something like this so these are some of the very very precious things so you know that their weight is everything if i have more gold i have more money more diamond more money so even the slight amount of change in the ma mass of gold can cause a very huge amount in the change of money this you can calculate on your own just think about this that how much gold do i have in my pocket right now in your pocket whatever so if you can calculate what is the weight right now so now what is the weight and how will that weight change if i take the value of g is equals to 10 so you will see that the value will change a lot it will change a lot and the money amount of money will also change okay so the next thing which we are going to talk about is escape velocity and the escape velocity will also increase if i am changing the value of g from 9.8 to 10 and how will it change the c to it hmm? let's say if i am throwing a body i am throwing a body in such a way that it's going out in the space it's just leaving the planet now if i want to do that on earth if i want to do that on earth i have to throw the body with a velocity of 11.2 kilometers per second you can clearly see this is a huge number this is a very big number okay so you have to throw a body with this much of velocity so that it can go in space hmm? and the value of escape velocity also changes from planet to planet from for earth the value is 11.2 kilometers per second which i already told you but for jupiter if you will see the value is 60.2 kilometers per second it's huge it's very very huge now that is what i am saying that right now you need at least 11.2 kilometers per second of velocity to 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 throw a body outside in the space what if i like i am changing the value of g and i want to see that what will be the effect of the effect on the escape velocity so you will see that the value for g is equals to 9.8 the escape velocity is 11.2 kilometers per second or i can also say 11 to 11200 meters per second this is the value of escape velocity for g is equals to 9.8 but if i will change it for uh, g is equals to 10 meters per second square then the escape velocity will become 11313 and what is that that is equals to 113 meters per second so you can clearly see the difference is very high 113 meters per second is a very big velocity you can check this number in kilometer per hour which will come out to be 406 kilometers per hour approximately so in 406 km per hour you know that 406 km it's a very 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 big number okay so see even with the slight change in the value of acceleration due to gravity the escape velocity is changing by a huge amount that is why you know when we do it in the question when we are solving any question and we just take oh let's take g is equals to 10 in that okay when you are doing it theoretically it's uh, okay because you are learning for knowledge but when you are actually applying the things in real life then you cannot do such kinds of approximation and the last thing is satellites so satellites will also change their orbits so for for example if a satellite which is orbiting in a higher 
uh, orbit will have to come to a lower orbit because of sudden increase in mass i already not mass weight i just told you that the weight of the body will change so let's say the uh, let's say the satellite is moving in a higher orbit due to the increase in weight now it has to come in a lower orbit or basically the thing will actually change according to that and that will be a very problematic thing our earth is actually dependent on like not earth basically we humans are a lot dependent on the satellites it's doing a lot of work for us and suddenly if it will do something like this a lot of damage can happen okay. so this is it this is what the changes you will see if i will change the value of a from 9.8 to 10 and you can clearly see these differences mean a lot even for the for the slight change in the value of a or i can say the value of g the acceleration due to gravity for a very slight change you will see so ma so many differences fine that is the thing and uh, whatever there is we will learn up more in this particular channel till then you all can join ask itians for your further learning for your je preparation for your neat preparation i would like to inv invite all of you to join us for your preparation to the core it will be very helpful for all of you so thank you for joining we will meet again bye bye